Tuesday story time. We are continuing our month for mental health awareness, the month of May. So today our theme is going to be let's move. So we're going to be talking about the importance of exercise for our mental health. I'm going to read some stories and we'll talk about some reasons we should exercise. Sounds good? Let's go. My name is Natalie and I'm helping my teacher, Miss Starr, get our class ready for field day. I'm captain of the beach ball relay. Uh-oh, Patrick dropped the ball. He has to catch his breath. Audrey and Lewis do too. How will we ever win the race? Miss Starr says we need exercise. Exercise is an activity that keeps our bodies healthy. Our bodies have muscles, she says. We use them to jump, walk, and roll. Exercise makes our muscles strong. It helps us move our best. So your heart is a muscle. It's about the size of your fist. Make a fist for me. The heart has a very big job. It pumps blood to every muscle in your body. The blood carries oxygen to the muscles and the muscles need oxygen to work. Without exercise, our muscles get weak. Weak muscles wear out fast. Using them makes us tired. Exercise will bring back your winning spirit, says Miss Star. Come on, team. Let's move. So take a deep breath. Does that make you feel good? Your body just made endorphins. Endorphins are special chemicals that lift your mood. And your body makes a lot of endorphins when you exercise. So here's Can't Catch Me. Miss Star says there are three kinds of exercise. They help our bodies in different ways. So there's aerobic exercise. That works out our lungs and our heart. Aerobic means with air. Lewis jumps rope. Audrey twirls a hula hoop. And Patrick starts a game of tag. Can't ta catch me. Those are all aerobic forms of exercising. Anaerobic exercise makes our muscles strong. Anaerobic means without air. So climbing and digging are anaerobic exercises. So are sit-ups and push-ups. Playing tug of war makes my muscles grow. Heave, ho! No matter what exercise you do, make sure you follow safety rules. Wear a helmet when riding your bike. Protect your skin by using sunscreen outdoors and drink lots of water too. Always remember to play in a safe space. Stretching exercises are very important too, says Miss Star. They loosen tight muscles. We touch our toes, we bend sideways, we twist and turn, and we reach up high. All right, so here's chapter three. We're at field day. Today is field day. Let's get moving. It's time for the beach ball relay. A healthy body needs lots of activity. Try fitting more activity into your day. Watch less TV and spend less time with computers and video games. Less screen time means more time for action. Patrick runs. Lewis passes the ball to Audrey. And I race to the finish line and we win. Field day is all done, but Miss Star says our fitness fun isn't over. Every day is made for exercise. We can do chores at home, we can play at the park, we can even go swimming or kick a ball. You can exercise in any season, rake leaves in the fall, make a pile and jump in, and when winter comes, you can sled down a snowy hill. Plant flowers and pull weeds in the springtime and splash in the pool during the summer. Our class is staying active, so we started a fitness club. I'm Captain Fit. You can exercise too. 
bounce a ball, run a race, take the lead with your health. How cool is that? And this is just a my exercise chart. So if you wanted to get a piece of paper and write out blocks for the different days of the week and just put in any type of exercise that you do. How cool is that? It's a great book and a great reminder for us to get moving. I said this is a fun one by one of my favorite authors. It's Eric Call, and this one is From Head to Toe, and we can all do this one together. I am a penguin. I can turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a giraffe. I can bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. I'm a buffalo. I can raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. I'm a monkey. I can wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. I'm a seal. I can clap my hands. Can you do it? Clap your hands. I can do it. I'm a gorilla. I can thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. I'm a cat. I can arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. I'm a crocodile. I can wriggle my hips. Can you do it? Let me see you wriggle your hips. I can do it. I'm a camel. I can bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. I'm a donkey and I can kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. I'm an elephant and I can stump my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. I am I and I can wriggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. Such a cool book. Could you do all of those things? I knew you could. All right, so I'm glad you tuned in today for our Let's Move story time. Let's talk about some reasons to exercise. Exercise improves our heart health, our respiration and breathing, and our muscle strength. It also increases the flexibility of our muscles and prevents fractures and encourages bone growth, prevents obesity, and impacts our brain power. Exercising also increases our self-regulation skills and it's associated with improving our cognitive skills including executive functioning, attention, memory, verbal comprehension. And one of my favorites, it improves our self-esteem and attitude and therefore boosting our overall mental health. I'm so glad you hung out with me today. I'll see you next time.